let us start with e. Uh, how e uh, was uh, co constructed? Uh, in in Angami, e uh, is very very important. It's I think it's a, a central pronunciation in the many many words. If e uh, is not there. Then, of course, we can uh, pronounce as uh, urchin, murder, like that. But uh, mm, that will be a little uh, tangent to the uh, pronunciation of the general Angami uh, script, ABCD. So, uh, uh, was uh, uh, two. Dots were put over the arms of the U, and to pronounce for the sound e, uh, <coughs> because that two dots umla, that is in German, and remember, originally is originally from German, okay, Germany. He was, a German he was a, yes, his original uh, des he descended from a German. Germany, and so he brought these two. He he was able to construct, and it becomes a pivotal letter in the uh, Angami. I am saying Angami uh, because Angami is a is a term uh, developed by. Non, non, non Angamis. And uh, I have consulted a lot of uh, people, Angami people, elderly people, how this originated. And some, some say that it was actually a mispronunciation of. The Zeliang term Ngami. I inquired from the Zeliangs about this Ngami, but none of them could tell me that it is a Zeliang word. Tenimie. Originally, there was a. There used to uh, the elderly people. The Angami elderly people said that Tenimie means ketini, tini. They had skirt, which were black, which were dyed black. Otherwise, they were blue. But somehow, blue was continued to be used by the Zeliangs. And but from uh, the Angamis died. They used blue also origi originally some, but they preferred black. So they used to blacken it by putting it in the mud, buried in the wetlands, and used to uh, uh, color it black. What is it called? How do you how do you call the kilt? Or the skirt. How do you call it in Angami? Tini, 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 keti, keti, black, black pant. The Zeliangs ultimately, I think, when they change, I do not know, but uh, they also put on the, uh, black. They also blackened it. The difference is there is a thread. At the end of the one of the sites, at the diagonal end of the Angamis will make a rope, rope, and that they will take the rope on their back from their bottom and uh, tie, it. tie it in the belt. The Zelians uh, did not have that. Rope. So the Zerian picture was 
<laughs> more interesting. <laughs> A, B, C, D, F, G, H, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T. T. X is not there. Q is not there. When Nili Hubelho was language officer and he was also in close uh, close association with the uh, um, Ura Academy. And it was Dili Hubelhu, language, Angami language officer, to, uh, um, to uh, it was he, Dili Hubelhu, Kapitao Dili Hubelhu, told me that uh, uh, one day uh, when we met, he told me that uh, uh, we are in dire need of an Angami grammar, but we are not able to, nobody has been able to produce it. Kapitao uh, Rizakriye, Sekwase has produced a, a, what shall I say, a very simple, uh, uh, word divisions, a booklet. There he has mentioned about this noun uh, or verb, these things, I think he has mentioned. I think that book is also now out of print. I don't, I don't have one, so I don't remember all. But he produced, but that was uh, just the names of noun, verb, adjective, like that. That is also in English. But no Angami terms for those. So Nilihu, Kapitao Nilihu told me that uh, it is uh, dire need, but we are not able, we are entrusted somebody, and he named it, but let me not name it them. <laughs> so they could not produce this fellow, could not follow that fellow, could not go. We here in the Ura Academy also, we were known, could uh, produce that. Uh, Grammar. Uh, I won't name the persons, but those some were interested. They uh, produce so-called so-called Angami grammar. Angami grammar again the name in English, and but um, they were they just almost translated the English grammar into Angami Daso, but that is not uh, Angami grammar. So I said, I will try, okay. So uh, I uh, went back and then tried to write the Tendi Diazo. I uh, called it Tendi Diazo, Angami Grammar. When I wanted, when I tried to start, I found that I have to name what is noun in Angami, what is verb in Angami, what is adjective, preposition, conjunction, like that. So it took me uh, quite some time, I think some three months, to just develop the terms, Angabi terms, for English noun, English verb, for English adjective, like that. Parts yes, parts of speech. Parts of speech, I have to construct. So I thought and thought and thought and constructed and constructed. Finally, I constructed. Ura Academy uh, uh, gave some names to be a member of the board to uh, select the name, that part of speech. So, Kapitao uh, Kadyushivi was the uh, eldest and uh, he was the uh, convener of that committee. So, 
uh, we were we sat down, and then I I mentioned the names of the parts of speech. With Kavatau, Kadushivi, Kashizia, we sat, we sat, and I listed. I had the list. I read out. I was the something like a uh, uh, what is called writer secretary of that committee, something like that, secretary of the committee. So I began to say the noun parts of it. Teni dierla, porla. But that is a little change now. But when I said that, Kadushiv said it's all right. Others from the Ur Academy, Medo was there. One fellow is still there, and her soul who led, they used to. They, I don't. I didn't know the man, the person. They said his name is Er Sol Hule. When later on, what, when I inquired about oh everything, everything, uh, in detail of what I wanted to know, I wanted to know what is the meaning of his name. So, their uh, villagers, there's Er Sol Hule, not Er Sol Hule, as. He was known among the Angavis. From his family, I came to know, family side, I came to know that his name they called Ersol Hule. So I asked, what is the meaning? So they said, uh, it is, the Japanese were Ersomia in the village. And so he was born at that time. So. Ersol Hulie, his name is actually it is Ersol Hulie. Ersol Hulie was what, Mado and we. So, with the Kapitao Kadushivi Convertership, we said I read out. The others didn't say anything, because uh, in as far as I also accept Kapitao Kadushivi as the. Uh, I think an authority on Angami language, Angami language. So when I uh, booted out the word, Kadushi, we would listen. He said, "Oh, that is quite all right. Oh, that is all right, like that." Down, I said, "It is Dieza uh, uh, word name. That means Die means language." Language name, Dieza means noun. And Kadushivi said, oh, that is quite appropriate, quite all right. So, like that, for all the uh, other uh, parts of speech also, I said, noun, adjective, that a term which tells the story of the noun. So, Dieze, I said, I termed this Dieze. Because this said, oh, it is quite all right. Dieze. Then verb. The, the word, uh, verb means the, the, the word which tells the functions, the work that the subject does. So I said, Dieto, word, work. Word, yeah, word to, to, the word or language uh, to means uh, work. Action. Action, action, word, action. The to. Conjunction, two words are joined together by one word. Conjunction, I got the uh, ke. Uh, like that, uh, the conjunction, then what is the rule? Preposition? Huh? Preposition. 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 In English, it, it mentions the position uh, before the noun. In Angami, it mentions the position after the noun. So, the word sit. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was okayed by the committee. Uh, everybody. Then comes the again the parts of the noun. So much that I have to consult a little of book. There's parts of speech. Uh, How about the alphabets? Did you make any modification? The uh, alphabets which were constructed by Rivenberg and the alphabets that you made as a committee. Yeah. Were there modifications? Yeah, as I said, we, uh, yeah, 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 there. Mm, uh, I first uh, included QX uh, also. QX also I included as we went, but I said to the committee, these two words, Q and X, there is no Angami word I know which starts from these two letters. And so uh, it is better, I propose to the committee, it is better that we, do, we should not uh, burden Angami children by two uh, alphabets. alphabets which they nobody uses. No Angami ever will use or no Angami has ever used. I said Q and X. X, yes, nobody. I said when I included Q, Kabasawa Kadushivi said no, there is one, one, uh, one, some, one thing where we also use Q. So I asked uh, Kadushivi, what? I do not know where Q is used. So he said, the Kui. there is a kind of monkey. He was saying, at the, uh, uh, at the precipices, rock precipices, it is found in Jaffa mountain also. That we call the Kui. So I said, Kamatau. So I told him, Kamatau. Just because of one single uh, animal, name of single animal from countless animals that uh, Angami. Uh, boys and girls have to learn just for one single uh, animal. Should all Angamis for all the time con be burdened with this to know, the burden of knowing or memorizing Q? I think it can be written by joining K and W, Kui. So, the Kui means T E K W I. So, I think it is better to uh, not to give this burden for all Angabi children to uh, the burden have the burden of memorying this word. So, oh yes, and I suggested that K W. It can be written uh, the same pronunciation. So, so, yes, so let us leave it. Kabatao said that it is quite all right. So we did not include X and Q. So as I said, uh, I knew Kabatao uh, Kadishivi's uh, knowledge of Angami language. Uh, so. Uh, and he's a very perfect gentleman, perfect gentleman, blamelessly gentleman. So uh, he, the others didn't say anything throughout the, I did not uh, record the time, but throughout the more than one hour sitting and discussing and that thing and thing, sometimes joking, this thing, I did not <laughs> mention all the, it was Kedushivi myself only uh, talking. The others were listening, but they have said their agreement, or if they have any uh, disagreement, they would have said. Because that is the atmosphere 
Kautau Kadushivi has uh, opened in the committee. Uh, so it, that what parts of speech, parts of uh, parts of noun. This uh, I have to consult the I think book then so that I can okay. uh, orderly uh, Do you want go. To read that book? Okay, I will hear also the one I gave it to you.